Have you ever pondered why the apple falls to the ground instead of floating away into the universe? It's a question that takes us back to a young Sir Isaac Newton sitting beneath an apple tree and laying the groundwork for our understanding of gravity. Newton's law of universal gravitation, an invisible force pulling objects toward each other, governed our comprehension of the cosmos for centuries. It explained why we stay firmly on the ground, why the moon orbits our planet, and why planets circle the sun. It was a simple yet profound explanation that dictated the symphony of celestial bodies. Yet there was more to this cosmic dance than met the eye, something that even Newton's brilliant theory couldn't quite capture. A mystery that would remain unsolved until a certain patent clerk dared to question the very fabric of reality. But what if I told you Newton's theory wasn't the whole story? Enter Albert Einstein. In the early 20th century, a man named Albert Einstein, a patent clerk with wild hair and an even wilder mind, began to see the universe differently. Born in Germany, Einstein was not your typical scientist. He was a violin enthusiast, a philosopher, and a nonconformist who struggled with the rigid education system of his time. But his unconventional approach was exactly what science needed. Einstein's background was as diverse as his interests. From his humble beginnings as a patent clerk, he rose to become one of the most influential physicists of his time. His early contributions to science were profound, yet they barely scratched the surface of his curiosity. Driven by a relentless desire to understand the universe, Einstein put forth ideas that challenged the status quo and turned our understanding of physics on its head. Einstein, however, was just getting started. Einstein dared to imagine a universe where gravity wasn't just a force, but a curvature in the fabric of space and time. In the early 20th century, this daring physicist introduced his general theory of relativity a groundbreaking concept that forever altered the way we perceive our universe. Einstein posited that space and time are not separate entities but are intertwined into a four-dimensional fabric known as space-time. Now let's imagine space-time as a vast rubber sheet. When it's empty, it remains flat and unaltered. However, introduce a mass into this scenario, say a bowling ball, and the sheet curves around it. This curvature is what Einstein proposed to be gravity. The more massive the object, the deeper the curve, and the stronger the gravitational pull. But here's where it gets even more intriguing. Einstein's theory didn't just link gravity to mass, but to energy as well. In his famous equation, E to mc2, he demonstrated that mass and energy are interchangeable. Therefore, not only does mass curve space-time, but so does energy. Take our sun, for example. It's a massive ball of burning gas with immense energy. This energy, along with its mass, distorts space-time around it, creating a well that Earth and other planets roll around in, giving us the orbits we observe. But what about when there's so much mass and energy concentrated in one place that it creates a curve so deep nothing can escape it, not even light? Well, that's where we get black holes one of the most fascinating predictions of Einstein's theory. So, in essence, what we perceive as the force of gravity pulling us down to Earth is actually the curvature of space-time directing us along the shortest possible path in a distorted environment. It's not that the apple falls from the tree, but that the Earth rises up to meet it. With this, Einstein turned our understanding of the cosmos on its head. Einstein's theory was revolutionary, but it needed proof a theory, no matter how revolutionary, is just a theory until it is tested and proven. And so the stage was set for one of the most famous scientific experiments of the 20th century. The year was 1919. The First World War had just ended and the world was in a state of flux. Amidst this turmoil, a British astronomer named Sir Arthur Eddington embarked on a daring expedition to the island of Principe, off the west coast of Africa. His mission? to observe a total solar eclipse and test Einstein's audacious theory. According to the general theory of relativity, gravity is not just a force but a warp in the fabric of space-time caused by mass. This means that the path of light should bend when it passes close to a massive object like the Sun. Eddington planned to use the solar eclipse to observe the stars near the Sun. If their light appeared to be in a different position than expected, it would confirm that the sun's gravity had indeed bent their light. As the moon slid over the sun, casting the island into a surreal twilight, 
Eddington and his team anxiously watched the skies. The weather was poor and the chances of success seemed slim. But as the eclipse reached totality, the clouds parted and the stars appeared. Eddington quickly took his measurements. When the data was later analyzed, it showed that the positions of the stars had indeed shifted. The amount was minute, only about one two thousandth of a degree, but it was enough. The light from the distant stars had bent around the sun, just as Einstein had predicted. Einstein's theory had passed its first test, and his place in the annals of science was secured. The results of the 1919 solar eclipse experiment were a triumph, not just for Einstein, but for the power of human curiosity and ingenuity. From that moment on, our understanding of the universe would never be the same. The general theory of relativity wasn't just about understanding gravity. It opened a whole new realm of possibilities. And what a realm it is! Take black holes, for instance. These mysterious objects in space were an early prediction of Einstein's theory. They are regions of space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape their pull. Without the general theory of relativity, we wouldn't even have the framework to comprehend these cosmic enigmas. But the theory also has implications closer to home. Consider gravitational waves, ripples in the fabric of space-time caused by the acceleration of massive objects. First proposed by Einstein himself, these waves were directly observed a century later, in 2015. Their detection opened up an entirely new way to observe the universe, akin to gaining a new sense. And let's not forget about the practical applications of Einstein's theory. You use one every day, perhaps without even realizing it. Global Positioning System, or GPS, relies on the general theory of relativity to function accurately. The satellites in orbit around Earth experience less gravity than we do here on the ground, causing time to tick just a bit faster for them. This discrepancy, predicted by Einstein's theory, must be accounted for, or your GPS would be off by miles. From black holes millions of light years away, to the GPS technology guiding us on our daily commutes, the implications and applications of the general theory of relativity are far-reaching. It's not just a theory about gravity, it's a theory about the fundamental nature of the universe itself. Einstein's theory continues to shape our understanding of the universe, and its applications permeate our everyday life. Einstein's daring leap of imagination revolutionized science, but what does it mean for us today? This is where we delve into the continuing legacy of the general theory of relativity. Einstein's theory, more than a century old, remains a pillar of modern physics. It has shaped our understanding of the universe, from the smallest particles to the most distant galaxies. It's the foundation for the study of black holes, gravitational waves, and the expanding universe. In a world of rapid technological advancements, the general theory of relativity is still relevant. It is integral to the operation of our global positioning systems. Without compensating for the effects predicted by Einstein's theory, the GPS signals we rely on for navigation would be out of sync by several kilometers. But the legacy of the general theory of relativity is not just about what we have learned, but also about the questions it continues to raise. It has inspired generations of scientists to ask, to wonder, to explore. Some of the most profound mysteries of the universe, like the nature of dark matter and dark energy, are still waiting to be unraveled. Einstein's theory has also sparked a quest for a theory of everything. This is an attempt to reconcile the world of the very large, described by general relativity, with the world of the very small, described by quantum mechanics. Despite numerous attempts, this challenge remains one of the most significant unsolved puzzles in theoretical physics. And so the legacy of Einstein's general theory of relativity is not static, but dynamic. It is not just a monument to past scientific achievement, but an ongoing journey of discovery. It's a testament to the power of human curiosity and the relentless pursuit of understanding. So the next time you see an apple fall from a tree, remember, it's not just falling, it's following the curve in the fabric of space-time. That's Einstein's legacy.